All right. Can everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? The Pledge of Allegiance is to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> Can I call the meeting to order at uh, 6 o'clock? Can I get a roll call, please? Michael Cash Here. Thomas Wood? Present. Hank LaFave? Here. Mark Hubert? Here. Charles Costa? Here. Rick Collins? And Mr. Coffey is absent. Um, before I get started this evening, I'd like to uh, have us consider a moment of reflection and a uh, moment of silence for the 75th anniversary of D-Day uh, for those that fought and fell. So if you could just join me in a moment of silence, please. May 16, 2019, we approved of the reading of the ministry dispense with. Is there a motion? Tom, is there a second? Second. Caustic. Is there any discussion? None. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Harry. Is there anything for public comment this evening? Uh, because we have some students here tonight, I'm going to extend just a couple of little pockets of knowledge that may be helpful. Sometimes you have worksheets that you need to fill out. Um, we provide opportunities for public comment at both our board member, uh, our board meetings. We also have work sessions, uh, and there's a, a portion of the meetings where people can come forward and provide comments for approximately five minutes on a wide variety of topics. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay. Maybe we should demand that students. Yes, for us, for us to question to sign something. Um, we're going to move forward uh, for some additional resolutions before we go into the public hearing this evening. Uh, resolution 97, abstract 6A-19. Resolved that the abstract of the claims number 6A-19, 960 to 1068 for $234,987.94. An abstract 6A-19A. 153 to 172 prepays in the amount of $1,170,934.49. Be received as reviewed by the audit committee and the supervisors hereby authorized to pay said abstract. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Hebert, is there a second? Second. Wood, any discussion? Yeah, um, I didn't see the abstracts there to sign. Did you sign? They're, no, they're in the. Um, Finance department because they're doing the conversion, so I'll have them for you tomorrow. Okay. okay. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Gary. Thank you. Just trying to stay on time. Uh, Resolution 98, Building and Grounds Department purchase request for a new vehicle. Well, it's Richard Rasco, Building and Grounds Supervisor, has compiled with the New York State OTS procurement requirements for said vehicle <coughs> acquisition by completing the competitive mini-bid process executed via New York State Vehicle Marketplace. And whereas Mr. Rasco is requesting permission to purchase a 119, uh, 2017 Ram ProMaster City Cargo Van in the amount of $19,495.47 by the Town of Plattsburgh Building and Grounds Department pursuant to New York State Office through General Services Standard and Purchase Group Contract Number PC 66680, award number 22898, in the amount of $19,495.47. Therefore, it be resolved that the Town Board is hereby grant permission to Mr. Rasco to order said vehicle, and the supervisor hereby authorized to sign any related document required to the purchase. And it be further resolved the purchase of 2017 Ram ProMaster City Cargo Van from 
from main motor car of 224 to 228 West Main Street, Johnstown, New York, 12095, in the amount of $19,495.47, be approved. And it is further resolved the payment for said purchase be made payable from the 2019 Building and Grounds Equipment Capital Outlay Plan, as so noted. And that a copy of this resolution be given to Mr. Rasco, Building and Grounds Supervisor, and one to the Accounting Department. Is there a motion? So Cost Is there a second? Second. Uh, with a, any discussion? Just uh, this normal purchase for the budget? Yeah, yes. Yeah, check it Yes. A nice overview on that last week. Yeah, that's, that's, oh, that's what you mean. Yeah, replace a uh, full size car van oh, yeah. is going to be repurposed. Yeah. So that the bigger one will stay in the fleet, and they're going to use different tools, et cetera. Thank you. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie. At this point, we have surpassed the time for the. Um, when we can call into the public hearing, so I will uh, open it now. And it's 6 of 7. The meeting was called to order at 6 o'clock p.m. by the presiding officer at Town Hall on the Banker Road. Further notice, it is hereby given that the Town Board of the Town of Plattsburgh will meet and hold hearings here on to the Town Hall located on the Banker Road in the Town of Plattsburgh, Clinton County, New York, on Thursday at 6.05 p.m. Prevailing time in relationship to the proposed local law number 2 of 2019 and Titled a local law to extend temporary moratorium on certain specific uses on the lands within the town smart growth plan and area proposed zones T3C, T3N, T4, and T5. At this point, we will be accepting the acceptance of written comments into the record of the hearing, and we will also open public hearing to the floor for public comment. Is there a motion to that effect? So uh, Would. Is there a second? Second. Uh, Hebert, any discussion to the motion? Uh, Seeing no discussion to the motion, uh, can I get a roll call uh, to open the public hearing, please? Thomas Wood? Yes. Meg LaFay? Yes. Barb Hebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes. The public hearing is now open at 6.08 p.m. Is there anyone seeking to provide written comments into the record and or to come to the floor for public comment? Um, Trevor's next door, if you want to, I can try to grab him and pull him off for a second if you'd like. That might help because Mr. Merkel would like to know what this is about and he said he was on the website for half an hour and couldn't find anything. I, I know it was posted. Let me see if Trevor's next door. No, we have to, no, you know, the Trevor. website isn't user friendly really, so. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can grab one of the overlays. They'll be all ready. Right keeping, keeping that in mind, uh, okay. we will leave the public hearing open okay. and we will move forward uh, and go back to when Carter has a chance to come over. Oh, there he is. There he is. Would you like it, sir? I just wanted to know if you could tell me where to find it on I'll look online. Um, well, you can have yeah, different copies, today, but we'll find you. Um, yeah, there's the, the master community development concept potential build out, which then informed these transect zones. Uh, so each reference is kind of the, this reference is the design and type of build out that you can find in these areas. But it was on the website. It also should be on the elevateplatsburg.com okay. website, which is the planning website specifically for the project. Okay. So are these T designations don't actually exist now? No, these are proposed. That's okay, the, that's, that's what, what was confusing me. Okay, yep. Okay, so if I can have this, that'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Anything else? Thank you, Trevor. Trevor, thank, thank you. you. Do you want to take this, too? I have the pictures. I'm going to leave this open for a couple more, uh, more minutes. 
Uh, I'm going to go to let's make sure that I'm in order here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Resolution 99, Twin State Maintenance Renewal. Well, so the town plan sir, maintains an annual maintenance renewal agreement with Twin State to provide telephone, hardware, software, and system support. Whereas Twin State has submitted a renewal agreement to the town for services from September 1st, 2019 to August 31st, 2020. Whereas the town board has provided within the general fund for the town of Plattsburgh 2019 budget for the renewal of its one year contract with Twin State in the amount of $5,851.04. Whereas the town attorney has approved as in form a one year contract submitted by Twin State. Now therefore we resolve that the one year renewal contract submitted by Twin State be approved and the supervisors authorized to execute the same for the town of Plattsburgh and a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Made is there a motion? So moved. Will of faith. Is there a second? Second. Caustic. Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does carry. Resolution 100, public private partnership. Uh, town Schluter Agreement MOA to collaborate on relocation of Pleasant Ridge Road. Whereas from time to time the town of Pontsford has identified opportunities to provide benefits through collaboration with mutual beneficial partnerships with private parties. Whereas UMS Properties LLC, commonly referred to as Schluter Systems, operates a manufacturing facility at 194 Pleasant Ridge Road. Whereas operations of the Pleasant Ridge Road have explained over the time and the design location and alignment of the roads create limits and challenges for both Sluder Systems daily operations and maintenance operations for the town highway department. Whereas Sluder Systems has proposed further development of their industrial campus which may constrain by the location of the existing road. And whereas the Town of Plattsburgh and Sluter Systems have identified a mutual beneficial opportunity to redesign and relocate a portion of the Pleasant Ridge Road for the encumbrance of Platts the public highway safety on the town road in operation by Sluter Systems Industrial Campus. And whereas the Town of Plattsburgh and UMS Properties LLC, commonly referred to as Sluter Systems, have agreed to enter into a memorandum of agreement outlining the process and obligations of both the Town of Plattsburgh and Spluter Systems for this purpose. Now therefore be resolved the Town Board does hereby authorize a supervisor to execute the MOA upon review and recommendation by the Town Attorney and it be further resolved that the MOA signed by both parties be placed on file and in the Town Hall and copies provided to Spluter Systems Planning Community Development Town Highway Superintendent, Water and Wastewater Director, and to the Town Attorney. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Hebert, is there a second? Second. Lefebvre, any discussion? No. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does carry. Going back to our public hearing, uh, is there anyone seeking to submit anything into written comments for the record of the hearing, or is there anyone seeking to provide uh, comments from the floor? Is there anyone seeking to provide written comments or comments from the floor? Is there anyone seeking to provide written comments or comments from the floor? Seeing none at this point, I would seek a motion to close the public hearing this evening. Is there a motion to do so? So moved. Costic, is there a second? Second. Okay. Uh, any discussion to that motion? Seeing no discussion to that motion, uh, can I get a roll call, Rick? Thomas Wood? Yes. Hank LaFay? Yes. Barb Hebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. Mike Cash? Yes. The time that the public hearing will officially close is 6.15 p.m. I see and uh, I do not know of any reason to go into an executive session this evening. I would, I would like to go into an executive oh, session okay. to speak, to talk about um, having the official Do you have the card for me? Yep. But what, on what topic? But, the, um, oh, I guess it's is a litigation. Um, I wanted to talk about the proposed meeting. Sure. 
uh, we can have that as a conversation. Uh, in general, we've now got a response from the city, uh, and we wait patiently to see if they would like to have a meeting with us. That's what it's in the newspaper, right? Say that again. That's what it's in the newspaper, right? I would anticipate that maybe after tonight's meeting we may get a response. Okay. So, okay. What would the format be like? I'm sure we'll have to negotiate, you know, what it would look like. But a general joint session is equal voice, equal time, um, fairly relaxed in nature. It would be a work session. So um, we would probably put a B table where people would be around it and then have an opportunity to talk about the subject. For the students in the room, what we've done is we've invited the city of Plattsburgh to come to the town of Plattsburgh for a joint meeting between our council and their council to talk about a topic that they are seeking to possibly annex, which means to take some land that they currently own uh, within our municipal boundaries and make it part of officially the city. So, so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a I have a feeling that they probably will not accept the formal invitation. Um, in fact, though, as the procedure continues to move forward with annexation, if they seek to do so, a joint public hearing will need to occur in any measure. Um, so they may just opt to only do it through that process. And we'll have equal time to uh, speak at that one, and won't be just all the other public. I mean, could be everybody, but. Anything else? No more? Yes. All right. Uh, can I get a motion to adjourn, please? So moved. Keeper. Second. Second. Uh, Wood. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. And uh, time we adjourn is six eighteen.